Today, I'm gonna to put rod holders on my boat, but first, I have to get the boat from the dealership. All right, White Pine Marine fixed my boat in a timely manner. And here it is, hooked up to my truck. Now to tow it home and put some rod holders on it. Now that my little travel vlog is over with, let's put some rod holders on my boat. Now you may recognize this from my other boat. This is the rod holders that were on my jet boat. Ty with FVCatfish.com made these custom for my other boat. The bottom was actually at an angle so it fit on the back of that boat perfectly. What I had done, I had a buddy of mine take this and cut the bottom off and re-weld it so it's flat so it works on this boat somehow like that and to mount this i do need to drill two holes in the back of my sea arc I'm drilling more holes in my brand new boat now i'm going to take a measuring tape and try to measure this so i can put this in the same spot as the one on the other side on this side i have to plug for the navigation light and on the other side it's wide open Another thing I have to take in consideration here is to see if there's any wires under here that I might drill into. I'm really hoping this is going to be easier to put together than on the jet boat because in the jet boat it was really difficult getting our hands up underneath to put the bolts on the bottom or the nuts on the bottom of the bolts. But I think this will work. I was thinking either right here we're on the outside of it, but we've got this kind of in the way. So I just, I want to mount it kind of like my other boat. So this is, when you have the light in, it's on the outside of this, like it was on my other boat. Of course, I can't let go or it's going to fall over to get measurements. Just find an even number and then double check underneath. Let's go seven inches. Yeah, I'll do seven inches. It puts a little bit of space between here and the light fixture. That means I'll do the same on the other side. And they'll be roughly in the same spot on the boat. Where's my Sharpie? I bought a bunch of nuts and bolts too. And these are all stainless steel. They're a little bit bigger than what was used originally on this by Ty. The rest of these are for the monster rod holders. I really hope these will uh, fit. <laughs> of course not, they don't fit. Oops. Well, I want to use these bigger ones, so what I'm going to have to do, I'm just going to have to drill out this metal as well. I probably should have opened this Sharpie container before doing this. Uh-oh. I 
Here we go. It is marked and in place. Time to do the other side. we go, marked and ready to be drilled. Of course I do need to check the wires. There are no wires under there. Now I just gotta get a drill bit the size of these bolts and drill these holes and drill out the holes on the two rod holder brackets. And remember, when you're drilling anything, wear safety protection, like safety goggles. And there's a possibility that I don't have one of these drill bits here, so I may have to go buy one. I do have metal bits that are big enough. The first thing I'm gonna do is drill a pilot hole, and then I'm gonna drill the bigger hole. It's always good to drill pilot holes. And wear safety goggles. It would be nice if I would uh, have it going the right way. That was fast. Perfect. Now to drill out the holes on the bracket. All right, this is ready to bolt down onto the boat. Although I do need to get some paint for this. Okay, I touched this up with a little bit of gray paint. Or use black at a later time. Another thing I'm gonna do, which I didn't do on the other boat, I'm gonna put some 5200 on this. Just a little bit of extra strength on it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now for the hard part, getting the nuts on the bottom. And I dropped the nut. This reminds me of working on a Honda Civic or any small car. You just can't get your hands in there to do what you need to do. And there we go. Got one side on. 
All right, I got the other side on, minus one lock nut. I couldn't find the one that I dropped in the boat, so I'm gonna have to go out and buy another one another day. I think the store is actually closed now that I bought these lock nuts from. Now I'm gonna show you quickly how I'm gonna mount the monster rod holders onto these rod holder brackets. Now I'm gonna scrape these off and probably paint them. So I'm just gonna show this briefly to you guys how I'm gonna do this. Now I'm gonna use kind of a double locking system here. I've got just a plain washer. I've got a lock washer, which is gonna be on top with a bolt that came with the monster rod holder. And then just a flat washer for the bottom with a lock nut. So we got locking up here and locking down here to hold these in place. I was having issues where these were actually trying to come out and move on me. So I figured a little bit of extra locking power should hold them in place. And like my other boat, I'm gonna have one sideways out this way, sideways out this way, and straight out the back. Now the rust that I'm getting on these monster rod holders and on this bracket is because this is all dissimilar metals. And when you're dealing with, you know, five different types of metals, you get rust. It is unavoidable, even with stainless steel. I don't know if monster rod holders are stainless or not, but there's not much rust on them. So it's pretty good. I really like these rod holders. Now, another thing this boat has is rails. This rail right here. And what I've done for my side rod holders, open says me, I bought these monster rod holder brackets. These are actually made for Sea Arc. This goes in here. Can't put it in on that end. So I guess all the way up front is where I gotta put these bolts in. Well, this is a problem. The line X is covering the hole where this would go in and go down this rail system. I'm gonna have to borrow a grinder to put these in. But basically you just put it in it's just like on a kayak. I have some videos where I did something similar on a kayak. But looks like I'm not putting these on right now. But there you have it, the incomplete install of rod holders on my Sea Arc Pro Cat 200. It seems like every project I run into some issues, which I happily share with you guys. Now I'm going to show you guys one more thing before I conclude this video. I now have a trolling motor bracket installed on the Sea Arc. We basically, we cut out the line X and grinded it down, made it smooth underneath here, and then we welded it all the way around. What I'm gonna do in the future, I'm gonna drill two holes in the back and have bolts just as extra reinforcement to hold this plate on the sea arc. And then I have to find a way to tap a few of these holes, and then there's gonna be holes in the front for the actual trolling motor bracket. I know the quick release trolling motor bracket that I'm gonna use goes to right about there. So I have room to put bolts back here. And then a couple of these are gonna to have to be tapped in this instead of going all the way through. The Sea Arc has a channel right here all the way over that I can't drill into. So that means the back two bolts are gonna to have to be tapped into this aluminum plate. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I'm definitely anxious to get this boat on the water and catch some catfish in it. So I'm gonna work on getting these odds and ends done within the next week or so. I do have guided trips coming up at the end of March, so I have to have everything done on this boat by the time those guided trips come around, which shouldn't be too hard to do. All I need to do is get a third battery mounted in the back for the trolling motor, get the trolling motor installed, get an accessory battery up front, which isn't really a requirement to do the actual guided trips. I'd just rather have everything accessory wise be put on a separate battery. Right now, everything's on the cranking battery. If I'm doing tournaments, I need to have the live well running all the time. And that would be a bad idea to have the live well running all the time on your cranking battery. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm probably not gonna film some of that stuff that I do to the boat. However, if you want me to, once I have everything done, I'll take this out on the lake and I'll do a walk around and just show everything that I've done to this boat, how it works, stuff like that. Leave a comment below if you want me to do that. And be sure to hit that thumbs up if you like this video and I wanna thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch my video. Hopefully I'll be catching some fish in my next video upload. Thank you again.